What's good, y'all? I know y'all ain't hear from me in a while, and all I can say about that is if you want to make YouTube videos daily, don't go to college. That's all I'm going to say about that. But I did see this tweet here that was posted just like 20 minutes ago, literally. This this means something to me, man. So if you're not caught up on the latest gaming drama, um, Helldivers 2, the very popular shooter game that came out on PS5 and PC, and it was making waves, man. Like everybody was playing this game for a while. It was like one of the you know, most played video games. Nevertheless, it's a very popular video game. And recently they had dropped an update that basically made it so that you had to make a PlayStation account in order to keep playing. Now, the reason why this was so controversial was for two reasons. The first reason being that you do not have access to PlayStation Network in a few countries. There are a good handful of countries where you cannot access PlayStation Network and therefore you can no longer play Helldivers 2. The second reason being that there would be some people who would say, oh, but a plenty of uh, studios do that. You know, you need an Epic account to play Fortnite. You need a EA account to play any other Star Wars games, et cetera, et cetera. But the difference between, you know, stuff like Sony making you make a PlayStation account for Helldivers 2 and Xbox making you make a Xbox account to play Halo, even if you bought it on Steam, is that was what it was like from the get-go, right? Like when Halo dropped, you knew you needed an Xbox account. Or when Fortnite dropped, you, well, Fortnite's not the best example because they integrated Epic Games. But now when you, you know, when you play Fortnite, you know you, what you're getting into, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Whereas with Helldivers, there were so many people who bought the game and just played the game normally without having to make a PlayStation account. And then suddenly... You cannot play it no more because you need to make a PlayStation account. Think about what that's like for the people who bought the game prior to this update who don't have access to PlayStation Network, who can't make an account. Now they simply just have no options. And they also can't get their money back because they definitely spent more than two hours playing the game at this point. But the reason why I'm making this video is because as you can see on the screen here, um, they have changed that very very swiftly i think we only went like a good 48 hours of this policy being enforced and then suddenly now it is no longer going to be enforced it says hell diver fans we've heard your feedback but nevertheless the point i want you guys to take from this is just you know what i'm saying just collectively collectively bully these corporations i'm going to show you guys i i have the meme from pc master race so Okay, so I couldn't find the meme, but as you can see here, when the game first dropped, you know, a bunch of positive reviews, barely anyone was saying anything negative, and then boom, just 62K negative reviews, 100K negative reviews, 150K negative reviews, and even at its lowest, the best case scenario was 25K negative reviews and almost no positive reviews after that. It, it is actually insane what people were able to do in terms of voicing their opinion. And I mean, this is the result, right? Like this is the result of what happens. And I just want to say like, it, the, the moment anyone tries to say that you talking about your negative experience with a video game doesn't matter, blah, 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 blah. Or if you have a negative opinion on a game that you actually want to be better, I'm talking about you, Call of Duty 2K, keep, talking about your negative experiences I just keep on doing it man at, at some point they're gonna realize no one's fucking with them and they have to change something like that's all i wanted to say man um yeah keep talking shit i'll be graduating soon though so appreciate everybody who didn't unsubscribe from me and i'll see y'all when i see y'all